everyone, Laura with Pampered Chef here. We're making kettle corn popcorn, and you're gonna hear a loud sound for, in just a second. This is homemade caramel sauce in the cooking blender. So we're gonna do two kinds of popcorn tonight. So I've already done a batch um, right here with our popcorn maker, and I'm gonna pour this in the stainless steel bowl. Very few kernels left at the bottom, you guys, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So we're going to use coconut oil, three tablespoons. We're gonna put that in the bottom. Now you're not gonna taste the coconut oil, but this is why coconut oil is important, or a high temperature oil, okay? So that's one reason why we use that. You can use olive oil too, but um, coconut oil, this is a higher temperature. Now we, I have already measured out my salt and my sugar, so I'm gonna pour that in, okay? Now we're gonna use, get our kernels. Now I'm using the family size microwave popcorn maker. So here's how this works, okay? Is you put the lid on, this comes out, and you measure this just like that, okay? And you were gonna do two, the family size does two, okay? And that's how you know how much you have in here, okay? And then we're just gonna close this up, put this right back in here, and make sure that this now, one of the keys to this popcorn maker working really well so you don't have burnt popcorn is putting it off to the side of your microwave. What do I mean by that? Well, the hottest point in your microwave is the center. So don't put it directly in the center. You want it offset the maker, okay? So we're gonna put that in and I'm gonna do three minutes. My last batch was about three, three and a half. Um, so you kind of, you're going to play around with that to see what works in your microwave, okay? So all I did was just use regular coconut oil, melt it in the microwave, okay? Super easy. So this right here, this is, I put it in this bowl because our caramel sauce, and you can do all sorts of different things that, you know, the cheese, um, white chocolate with regular milk chocolate um have fun with it it's always it's just a lot of fun um to make your own popcorn for movie nights or anything like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and stop this okay and take this off now this is really hot so we're at 185 degrees okay so you'll see the caramel sauce here i'm, I'm actually not going to pour it on just yet because I want this to thicken, okay? So this is our caramel sauce. And you guys, I'm able to store this in the fridge for several weeks, okay? Um, I love caramel and apples and just caramel sauce on ice cream, um, all sorts of stuff. So this is, we're gonna let this set up for just a minute, okay? Actually, I wonder if I could just pour it on. I haven't done it yet. Um, the caramel sauce. I just had this idea because I love um, caramel popcorn. So I don't know. Let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, so we're going to pour it on. And then I'm going to take this and shake it up. That's why I use this bowl. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, you guys. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Oh. Mm. This is naughty. Oh, I'm so excited. Look, you guys. Homemade caramel corn. I do think I'll let this set up a little bit next time, though. But we have kettle corn coming along. And I don't know, you can't probably can't hear it popping. But I can see the popping going on. So we'll pull that out and then we'll have kettle corn. So anyway, this is a great way to have movie night or any snacks. And remember for uh, January, um, our accessories, our cooking stuff, the blender, the air fryer, and the cooker are all 25% off. So enjoy. Have a good night.